Ladies and gentlemen, before we even get started with this video, go down to the description down below and you guys can vote for another show or anime for me to react to. Um, basically, the whole dealio with this is, uh, as you guys know, on the current run-up list, we have One Piece, obviously, Hunter Hunter, and Soul Eater. However, I've been continuing on with Soul Eater. I'm about around episode 6 I have recorded, and gotta say not really enjoying it too much uh, nothing against the show it's just not really recording worthy i guess you could say like i would watch it in my spare time you know my downtime you know just just dabble with it but it's nothing really that i'm enjoying enough to want to actually record so sadly i don't want to really you know force myself to record reactions for something i'm not really enjoying because it'll come through the video and you guys probably won't enjoy so um spoke with the homies on discord about it and we all agreed that it'd be best to do another vote for another show to have on the reaction lineup so uh go down to the description down below or click i think it's uh right here somewhere right on this side something like that uh you guys can uh, vote on a poll um i'll have a poll open on youtube as well as straw poll you guys can vote on either and um you know try to just tally up the votes but be sure to go down there vote for another anime for me to watch i believe on the poll we should be having attack on titan my hero academia uh what else was requested um naruto death note and promised neverland because uh those were requested and those are also the ones on the poll last time while the whole opening is going on we all know what happens in the opening it's all good but um wanted to thank the homies on the discord specifically trial for getting me hooked up with the <laughs> what that sounds so weird <laughs> hooking me up with these episodes here our typical anime distribution website was unfortunately down so we got these as the backup thank the homie trial because he gave you guys an episode today <laughs> oh man all right so um basically watch this right we, we watch this opening we can skip this so last time we got a bit of exposition on nami i must say um as usual reputation is pretty bad yeah so yeah i'm thinking she's faking she has to be faking man she has to be just a little bit more and i can fulfill my part of the bargain and buy the yeah that was the thing she wants to buy the village so i'm not reading the title um so she wants to save up all this money to buy the village. I'm assuming buy it from Arlong. He's owned it for eight years. If my notes are right here, he's owned it for eight years. So I'm assuming most of her childhood slash teenage life, she's, um, she's basically known Arlong's control. So it would make sense that she wants to, you know, get out of it. And uh, hopefully that's the reason why she's been scamming all these pirates because she wants to get this money and buy her village back now if that is the case i have said a lot of bad things about nami so <laughs> i'm gonna be the biggest hypocrite out here <laughs> my god why did they make Usopp look like that he looked like a monster right there dude is arlong having nightmares about Usopp? that'd be amazing no, they haven't. I mean, they're staring at one. Got a super long nose right there, dude. Oh, his little flesh things are see-through. Oh, I hate that. Oh, my God. I hate that. They're see-through. They're so thin. They're like You can rip them and it hurt so much. Y'all ever rip this part of your hand? Like, you get a cut right here, like, in, the, in between your fingers? Ah, oh, God. If I, had, if, if I had a list of my top ten nightmares, that'd be, like, number four. <laughs> Usopp, you're really good at running. I think you'd be fine. Anyone who thinks Usopp's not <laughs> should die yet or should how fast is he? He's getting all these dudes to raise his hand. What is that? Oh, did he build something? Oh, this man Usopp is crafty. This man Usopp pulling a Scooby-Doo trying to <laughs> escape from these dudes. Some some crafty mess over here. What was that move called? Wait. Oh my god, this thing skips fast. I'm watching this downloaded, so... Uh, where was I here? What did he throw at them? Eggs? Like, rotten eggs? Don't slip, my guy. Do not slip. Jesus. They're, they're in some thick bush right here, man. They're in, they're, they're in some thick grass. Where did he go? How did he escape? Oh, that was his hair. <laughs> that was the nest. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> this dude's so skinny, he can disguise himself as a tree branch. Um, hide behind a tree branch. Oh, that's him. He's right there. And this fish man with some Botox surgery out here. about it. <laughs> this dude got that. 
<laughs> LA plastic surgery out here, that Botox. He's trying to warn you, Usopp, run. Usopp, run. He said, thanks for cheering me on, this guy. This guy's gonna die. Usopp, you better run from Botox fish over here. That's disgusting. Oh my God, this dude's literally... Oh my God, Botox fish over here, Jesus. This man, Zoro, really just killed the whole ass crew. Oh, there's still one more, dude. I'm a member of Arlong's Elite, Hachi Hachan. Okay, so um, I'll mention this at the end of the episode, so you guys don't worry. Don't have to worry. Oh, this is that uh, the octopus squid dude. <laughs> octopus squid dude. I don't know which one it is. Is it octopus is eight, right? So he has six. Is that? Oh no, he has legs too. So do they count? <laughs> eight. He is a merman indeed. Octopus merman. There you go. Okay, I was right. This man Zoro is just <laughs> casually talking to this guy after he killed his whole crew. He doesn't even know yet. <laughs> This man Zoro, master of espionage out here, just <laughs> tricking this dude right away. Kokoyashi Village to catch him. There's a destination. You got it, right, Zoro? Dang, he does not know that Zoro just massacred his whole ass crew. Oh, Arlong about to be pissed. Yo, Arlong got disrespected by a village, shot by Usopp, and got his crew killed all in one day. This is, this is a bad day for you, dude. Is this a Monday? It seems like a Monday. <laughs> it's, it's when the worst stuff happens, for sure. Okay, so this is a little different. So far from everyone that we've seen, all these quote-unquote evil pirates, they've all been sort of meh towards their uh, crewmates. I mean, Alvita just beat whoever she saw up. Uh, <laughs> so same thing with Axan Morgan, even though he was technically, um, yeah, he turned out to be Crazy Zoro. Yeah, they didn't even know it was Zoro. Yep, that was Zoro Noah. But um, Captain Axan Morgan technically wasn't a pirate, but, you know, he was still sort of a protagonist that was killing his own crewmates. Um, well, not crewmates, but his men. Um, then we had uh, Kuro, who obviously killed his own dudes. Uh, Krieg, who killed his own dudes. But this guy, Arlong, actually cares about his comrades dying. And as much of a scumbag as he may be... Okay, so we got him there. We got him there. Cool, cool, cool. He got you to Kokiashi Village. Oh, man, Zoro, you want to hear my name again? It's Hachan. Okay, he didn't, he didn't even wait for his name. Cool. Look, Zoro, master of espionage. Oh, Usopp about to get messed up. Oh, yeah, and Zoro's going to Kokiyashi because he thinks Usopp is still there. But that he got caught. <laughs> Just a common way to greet people. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He almost cut off his nose. That's his most admirable aspect. Please. No, not the nose. Oh, my God, this torture. <laughs> The torture right now is real. Yeah, just act like you don't know him. Play dumb. Oh, they know he attacked Arlong, so there's no... Yeah, there's no way to say it. Like, you can't get out of this, Usopp. You gotta fight your way out. Oh, man, he found the rope, too. <laughs> if you're killed, Zoro will come. No! Oh, he curled his nose! Oh, God, can you do that, Arlong? Can you do that with your long-ass nose? Can you curl it like that? <laughs> if you keep me alive, Zoro will appear. Okay. You don't keep me alive, Zoro won't come. I don't know if they'll believe him. Oh, they found the rope. They found the rope. Yeah, someone freed him. I wonder who. I wonder who. In order to get your head, Nami invited Zoro. Ooh. Ooh, dang, they don't trust her as much as I thought they did. Yeah, her behavior's been strange. She, yep, she jumped in the water to save Zoro. Uh, now they think she's deceiving them. <laughs> and they really went there. <laughs> it's a woman's forte playing the mind games. Dude, so so they might not have even trusted her that much in the first place. Because obviously, they hate um, they hate humans. So it's kind of like, man, what is a Nami to a, <laughs> to a fish man? A Nami ain't shit. The fish man, that, those are my brothers. That's what they think. So I would assume they didn't trust her enough in the first place. So it'd be easy to turn their backs on her. But she was displaying some weird behavior to her, it would seem. Eight years since she joined. So you were 10 when she joined. Swore on this tattoo. Official member of the Arlong Pirates or whatever their names are. I still I still feel like, I, I kind of feel like Arlong's playing with her. I don't know. The way he talks to her, he seems like too, he seems too nice. Because like, say <laughs> yeah, Usopp doesn't know about all. Oh yeah, I think he does. I think, yeah, he, know, he does know. And she pissed at these guys messing up her plan like this this guy is still suspicious though he, he wants her dead <laughs> oh okay so she already she already so she made a deal with arlong already oh uh, okay so the deal is official i thought it was just something that she was gonna bring up i didn't know they actually had um a spoken agreement like he said okay get me 100 mil and then i'll let you guys go <laughs> oh he questioned her motives like why you want to save that village oh what he find he been snooping he been snooping. Uh-oh, here we go. A dirty map. What is that a map of? Oh, and <laughs> he figured out uh, he got to Kobayashi. He has to get back now. Jesus. Hey, man, Zoro's fit looking fresh, though. <laughs> that clothes he got on? <laughs> looking clean. <laughs> he said, while I was killing time. <laughs> That's how you kill time? <laughs>
That's what you spend your time doing. <laughs> oh, is that dude back? Um, uh, 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 they just said his name. They said his name. Hachan. He's back here. So are uh, Hachan and Arlong the only fishmen they've named? Oh, okay. He just saw the dead people here. Oh, his name is Hachi. Didn't they say Hachan? Or is that just a nickname, maybe? Dude, you were there. You were fishing right behind the wall. <laughs> Dude, he just he's hes just about to realize that this man Zoro was the one that killed all his homies. <laughs> you gave the murderer of your homies a ride to the village. My guy. Free of charge, too. Yeah, he's in Kokuyashi. But now Zoro's running back to Arlong Park and they had to run to Kokuyashi to kill him. <laughs> Everyone's just running around the whole island here. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna stay here, stay there and uh, assume that he'll come back. Dude, you shouldn't have let Zoro get caught in the first place. Oh, he's actually about to fight. He's reaching for... Oh, she's about to mess Usopp up. Oh, she bring the staff out. Dude, she made him bleed. That's... Oh, man. I don't... Oh, she... Did she cry? Was that a tear? Why'd they give it that sound effect? It was like... It was like shine. <laughs> give him that shine sound effect. So she she's finding this hard to do. Okay. That's what they're trying to sort of hint at. Yeah, Luffy still doesn't doubt her. <laughs> he trusts her completely. Look, I get it, Nami. You trust only money. That's all you want. But it's for a honorable reason so can't let you ruin eight years of business dude <laughs> nami is savage out here <laughs> he become quite the pirate dude oh Usopp, he don't believe it he laughing at her she got those murder eyes though that's for sure he saw those murder eyes he said yeah no way what'd he throw he has explosives up in there too oh no duh. He, he he threw an explosive at uh, arlong oh he got a smoke screen oh he bought a sprint from the smoke screen how does she still see him okay nami you're kidding me that no it didn't go through she didn't actually do it she did not actually just stab my boy usopp no she didn't i don't believe it nami can't kill people dude she <laughs> she stabbed him oh she ain't playing oh she ain't playing nami is the purest definition of a savage out here right now oh and he saw it dude johnny saw this man usopp get oh bruh can he come back from that he can't die this early right they ain't gonna pull a game of thrones bring in a main character and just kill him son nami is actually a savage she killed my boy Usopp. No, I feel like Usopp can come back from that though. Like he's gonna swim out and Luffy and them are gonna find him because it was just a stab in the stomach. Zoro took like 20 of those. I feel like Usopp can take at least one. We've seen Usopp take some punishment. So I think he can survive a stab to the gut. But that's if somebody finds him. I think he lost consciousness. So, oh, they're there. Okay, they might be able to find him then. I, I doubt Usopp is dying. There's no way. If he does, I'm going to riot. I'm, st I'm stopping the show. <laughs> they can't just kill off the comedic. They just can't kill off the comedy relief like that. That's unforgivable. Why is he dizzy? Oh, he about it. <laughs> Do they just make him go on for too long without food? He's just, he's just delirious. <laughs> Pete about to be on you. <laughs> Luffy, Pete about to get you for that. Man, abusing these animals. Finally, I've come to this point so this is her room where she makes all her maps and stuff okay oh we're about to get some nami flashbacks okay now i can judge her character here a little bit at least dang so he really kidnapped her as a child as a child <laughs> is that luffy and them crashing into the thing <laughs> shaking the whole park how fast was that fish swimming that sea cow oh he that thing launched they're about to break into arlong park jesus flying ship out here looking like <laughs> Looking like that uh, <laughs> Captain Hook ship from Peter Pan. <laughs> How? Okay, that's that's just impossible. That's just, physics. Physics just died right there real quick. There was no such thing as physics for a second there. They kept flying. <laughs> and then they crashed unless that's a really solid sail how are they that there's no way how fast was that sea cow moving they're about to kill zoro zoro move out the way zoro cannot catch a break this man he's about to he's about to be a run-in for a luffy in terms of durability because this this guy's been taking some damage for a minute God, zoro can't get hurt <laughs> look at sanji just sitting down he's like i regret my decisions <laughs> He regrets all the decisions he made. Usopp and Johnny. Well, Usopp probably dead, but I ain't buying it. Oh, Johnny made it to them. Oh, he's about to tell him he's dead. And he's going to tell them Nami killed him. Oh, let's see if Luffy's trust for Nami, his, his instinct can really tell him. Oh, okay. Let's see if Luffy's trust in Nami can get him through that. Let's see if he can trust her enough to just say, no, she was just joking. There's something beyond this. Who is that? Who is this? Am I a ghost? Who was that? They about to pull a... 
<laughs> they about to pull another Hawkeye out here. Just bringing some rando out of nowhere at the end of the episode. Trying to get us to think it's someone that's a nobody. And then they about to bring another warlord out here. Was that a warlord? <laughs> Just a weird looking warlord. I was told the Shichibukai are actually called warlords. That's the translation. But, um... So 33 is in the books. A great episode. Um, a little bit more into Nami's character. And I was right. This is going to be a whole Nami arc. Trying to make me feel for Nami. And I got to say, it's working not too much. A tad bit. I really have to understand. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm giving Nami a hard time in terms of her decisions. But there's still something missing for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to put it into words, but there's something missing for me to fully put my trust into Nami and what she's doing. Because I get it now. She's been doing all this to get money for her village, to buy back Kokoyashi Village, and she's trying to save up $100 million to buy it from Arlong. I get all that, but I still feel like there's more to Nami's character that we're missing. And even though we've got the why as to... Her reasoning behind what she's doing. I still don't see enough of what has been done to her to actually warrant this much, you know, sort of like, uh, you know, stabbing Usopp, for instance, or uh, stealing the going Mary and all this other stuff she's been doing. Because it seems like a really sharp turnaround as to who she was before and who she is now. Because I I do think, like, a lot of the moments that she's had with uh, Luffy's or the whole crew were genuine to an extent. You know, the scene with Sanji or uh, in the Bear Tea restaurant, Sanji was serving her and they were having a fun time. Um, what she did for them back in Usopp's village, getting stabbed, like, twice, I think. It's, I feel like she's gone really far for the crew. So, to deceive them to that point, to only get however little money they had... Um, doesn't seem like doesn't seem like a logical decision because she seems very calculated. So I still need to see more into what she's doing and why she's doing it to make a final decision. Because so far, um, she's basically off of my hate list. Like I have a list here. I basically jotted down all the um, named characters that I can remember that were important. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys a little look at it. I probably have a picture of something somewhere, but. Um, let me see if I can even get it on the camera here. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? So I got a little, uh, <laughs> I was going to call it a shit list, but um, I'd rather call it love list because you know how we'd be on this jam. It was all about that love out here. But um, so I basically got it on a sort of diagram, like from love to hate. And I'll probably have a better picture on there so that you guys can see it better. But I tried to name as many characters as I could so far um, on the all the way to the love side. And we got all the way to the hate side. All the way on the love side, we got uh, Luffy, Zoro, Usopp, Sanji. Because, um, you know, those are the homies already. Uh, we got Hawkeyes. He's got three hearts on because Hawkeyes is... He my boy. <laughs> he my boy out here. We got Zef. We got the Bear T crew. We got Shanks. We got Shanks' crew. They were cool. We got Kawina off a little bit, but um, she was nice. Um, or, sorry, no, uh, Kaya off a little bit. Uh, Kawina was dope, and I have her as... Uh, a little bit off but um you know we only saw like one or two episodes of her who saw pirates were cool they're up there uh characters that i feel like neutral or not really much about you know we got uh mary and i make sure to you know uh classify him as a human mary because i know um the going mary is also a thing we got johnny yosaku they haven't really done much for me just yet don't love him don't hate him uh kuina's dad had like five lines i don't i barely remember the dude i don't even know his name uh gin is a bit on the love side he was cool but um not enough for me to put him all the way on the side kobe's neutral we had like two or three episodes with him he was meh uh alvita out here on the hate side captain buggy hell meppo he's got he's got some uh, <laughs> x eyes on him i hated him uh screw El meppo we got his dad axam morgan kuro on the hate side full body that dude that sanji sir i think that was his name uh we got krieg obviously the pearl guy don't remember his name completely and arlong on the hate side nami i did erase her name she was on the hate side but now she's climbing a little bit back um i need to see a little bit more i'm i'm hoping her backstory will help her out so, um, 
but we actually did get Hachi or Hachan named here, and we got a little bit on him. He seems to be sort of the clumsy guy of the group. Like, um, he's a villain, but uh, he's got some comedic relief to him or comedy relief. So I think I'm gonna add him not entirely on the hate side. He hasn't done so anything that I hate completely. Um, that might change, but um, I'll just add him here. I don't, I don't remember how to spell his name. I'll just make make a Hachi. So he's not completely on the hate side. Only thing that's driving that small bit of hate is the fact that he's on Arlong's crew. So those are everyone that that's everyone we know about. Quick uh, little bit on that episode, but let us get right into episode thirty-four. So I don't know how far I'm going with all this, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to be binging here. Episode thirty-four, my predictions: a Nami episode. I think we're going to get a whole bunch of Nami flashbacks. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So let's get into it. <laughs> you don't think they real monsters, Nami? You might. I don't think you've been watching the show so far. <laughs> do Sanji do swordsman attack woman? What is happening? Does Sanji work for Arlong too? Yeah, well, it's obviously it's obvious you're BSing here. Like <laughs> the BS that is coming out of your mouth is insane. Did Luffy just faint? Oh, I thought he fainted from the sheer fact that Nami actually betrayed them. I thought he, I thought that's what he thought. Why haven't the Marines ever come? Like I know um Arlong is paying the dude off to sort of protect them, but no one's ever thought to call the Marines before. I mean, it would make sense if Arlong was controlling all sort of. Uh, Arlong might control all communication out of the island, so... Oh, okay, they're actually coming out here to rescue them. So is this a different marine dude from the last guy? The little rat-looking dude? A duty to justice does not allow us to pretend as if... Okay, they're actually gonna go at him, okay. So Luffy gonna have some backup out here, <laughs> taking out Arlong? Oh, he's talking about the marines. Is his mouth open? Oh, Arlong, you need to chill. You can't be eating cannonballs like that. They ain't got no nutrients, dude. They ain't gonna do nothing for you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. How strong are this guy's teeth, though? Jesus Christ, he just chomped through a cannonball and let that thing blow up. No negotiations. Oh, they're about to just go at him. Oh, my God. The Marines are about to get messed up. Marines are trash, dude. <laughs> These Marines can't do a damn thing. We don't need that much force. So yeah, there's some trash for real. I know they're the villains here, but I mean, I'm on their side. They're really trash. He just killed the general. These what are the Marines? What, the what is their purpose? They keep dying. Like, they don't do anything. <laughs> Stop it. This is the <laughs> this is who Kobe wanted to join so bad like episodes ago, which removed rudder. Oh, he can make them bleed. He can pierce them with water. This is a big if. Oh, what happened to see uh, if we moved the boulder in the middle of the current? Y'all could have just killed them easily. Like y'all didn't have to just <laughs> make them suffer and torture them out here. Dang. They can't send. They have to have someone stronger. Come on. I mean, do the Marines have anyone with devil fruits or anything like that? Like they only got these whack generals and captains with. <laughs> Some stupid pseudonyms to their names, like so they're about to just bounce. They just too scared to go at this Arlong dude. But you know what? Respect to my man Zoro. He's saying that he will stay by Luffy no matter how dumb the decision. He's like, hey man, if he's staying here, I'm staying here. That's what it's about. He's the captain. He chooses who becomes a navigator. And so is Sanji. Sanji's staying out here too. So it seems like they both have a sort of mutual understanding and respect of who the captain is, no matter how dumb the decision. They had to follow up with it and back this man Luffy up. Oh, she was crying? <laughs> he said crying in her heart. <laughs> crying tears of guilt for killing Usopp. Damn. Zoro's really... I still don't believe it, though. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I think she stabbed him, but I don't think she killed him. She might have gone for a... Oh! The ghost dude was Usopp! Wait, so there was blood, though. How did she not stab him? For my business. I have no other... She put her... That's... Oh, that's what the glove was for. She put her hand in front. Oh, they're good-ass actors, dude. Okay, now that's a bamboozle. I didn't know what she had the glove on for. So they got the little explanation here. Zoro calls Nami a komono, which means little servant. Sanji thinks he means Nami has childlike features, for example flat chested which is why he's yelling what's little about nami's chest why is he offended by that he got triggered and they're dude they just killed usopp usopp just got out of a stabbing he just got out of a stabbing he thought he was gonna get away pain free but he just got knocked out they're trying to blame each other out here that's hilarious yeah usopp is this crew is resilient man this crew 
they can take a beating. So I think Johnny was just lying. Yeah, from from his from where he saw it, from his angle, it does make sense that he thought that Nami stabbed him because that was that was the point, right? To make it look like she killed him. Okay, we got Nami's um blue-haired foster sister here. Nami can't just be hopping into people's homes and just destroying the place because you're a little angsty. Okay, now I see. So it's the whole um it's the whole bottling everything up kind of thing, right? She's bottling everything up. Mm, okay, okay. So talking talk about Usab, he said talk about being a captain, but he seemed like he was lying. Oh, okay. So that was the first time she was actually happy if she wasn't pretending. As I was saying, it seems as though she's bottling everything up and she's just letting it out in these like small bursts. And she doesn't want anyone to see. I think she just wants everyone to think that she's handling this easily yeah you see there are a lot of moments in between that they had fun and stuff and they really didn't show so i'm assuming she was with them for a while jesus christ when did they get into a storm <laughs> got water leaking in too jeez man they are not prepared luffy that kills you he, he's killing himself jesus christ and the whole thing flooded anyway dude is that a fond memory you have nami was that fun <laughs> that looks terrifying I forgot the fate I brought upon myself. Yeah, you remember this time when Luffy went all out to make sure Usopp, everybody was safe. Yeah, that's when she saw it. That's when she saw uh, Luffy's resolve for his crewmates. How far he's willing to go for the homies. Yeah, she doesn't care about Sanji yet, so <laughs> she doesn't know Sanji. <laughs> he's not in the flashback. I would stay with these guys forever. Okay, so she, yeah, she does care about them. She just wants to hide that. Damn, so not Nami really... She really going through some mess right now. She really doesn't want friends, huh? So Nami bluffed the killing me off part so I could escape. Yep, there you go. You got it straight now. I think there's a reason for her being with the Merman pirates. There is a reason. An honorable reason. Oh, okay. Nami's sister found... Did we ever get her name? Nojiko. Okay, that's her name. This dude... Yeah. <laughs> Sanji's just a thirst trap. That's what he is. He always wants something to thirst after. This dude has fallen... <laughs> he fall for everybody with a big rack. That's for sure. Oh, okay. She's about to spill some knowledge on him. Okay. Okay, Luffy. Okay, I get what he's doing. I'll explain a little bit. <laughs> dude, that was the creepiest thing you could have said. I want to know everything there is to know about Nami. Don't worry. He's always still listening. He's listening. <laughs> he's listening in his sleep. Yeah, you get it too. You get it too why Luffy's just walking away. He don't need to know. Oh, okay. They sent another Marine fleet. Is this one actually? Oh, it's the mouse dude. Commander Nezumi. Okay, that's his name. Nezumi. Bring forth the village leader. Okay, Genzo's the leader. Okay, that's what I thought. I said he was the mayor or something. So he's the village leader. Chill. What do you want with her? Oh, he's got some shady business out here. He's got some shady business. We have to go back eight years to start the story. Okay, this is Nojiko talking. Oh, no. Oh, God. They're about to give us the flashback. Oh, no. Now they're really going to try to hiss in the fields. You already know. That, that's the trend I'm seeing with this uh, <laughs> this anime so far. Now, I mean, I will never forget her. Okay, so this is a... Uh, oh, no. The name Bellamere. There we go. Okay. Bellamere. Okay, so I was told that 35 to 37 episodes, 35, 37 should be watched together. And <laughs> homies on the Discord, make sure to let me know or made sure to let me know that that was very important that I watch all three of those episodes together. So if I can, I'll try to fit those into this episode. But I want to try and give a bit of thought on what's happened so far. Episode 34. 34 in the books so we get even more on nami and her how she's torn she's basically being pulled apart by the fact that she wants to save her village kokuyashi village and save up enough money to buy it from arlong so she's working with him for uh, as long as she needs to in order to save her people and save her family save her friends but she's made friends she didn't know that she would be so attached to luffy's crew so i'm assuming it started off as just sort of a one-off thing because you know it was pretty obvious that she wasn't the most trustworthy person but it became an honest relationship with them because you know i'm assuming she saw um luffy's trust in her and luffy's trust in her was crazy to begin with and now it's even grown even it's grown even more at this point so it, it's understandable that you know she um she came at this with the mindset to just basically leave them as soon as she can, as soon as she gets some <laughs> some of them dollar bills. 
but um, she had to stay along for the ride because, you know, they're, they're, <laughs> that thing was kind of crazy. Their whole uh, journey so far was kind of crazy. So she really didn't have a time or a real open spot, I guess you could say, to like, there was no downtime for her to just bounce real quick until they got to uh, Sanji's spot at the Barati. But now because of that, it's, it's, um, it makes sense that she's having a tough time to get these guys off of the island and you know so she can sort of continue with her thing she doesn't you know expect this sort of connection with them and them to go this far for her basically she i guess she doesn't believe that she deserves it to some extent because you know she was going to betray them in the first place so she's like why are you guys fighting so hard for me it's kind of crazy and you know it's really pulling at her head and luffy on the other hand is totally on her side 100 percent. this blind loyalty to her is starting to seem not so blind at this point he seems to really have he's like beyond what everybody else believes you know zoro San, um zoro sanji and usap are sort of surface level with her so far like, Zoro is just like he's going off of what he knows about her he's just like oh, okay these are facts she betrayed us um he thought that she killed usap and that really sort of solidified his thoughts of her and Sanji, you know, obviously, see, he's just he's just thirsting for her at this point. That's that's what he wants off her. But I'm assuming her her story will uh, make him appreciate her more. And Usopp's the same thing. But after what she risked, you know, she basically sacrificed her hand, and she went that far to sort of get Usopp out of there safely, which is sort of making them think maybe there's something more to what Nami's trying to do. Maybe there's something more to how serious this whole situation is. So that's why they would want to hear her backstory. But Luffy is already above that point. He's al he's already like, I trust her enough to know that I need to rescue her. She's going to be my companion. I don't need no backstory to help me out. That's his thinking. He's like, I already trust her enough. You don't need to make me trust her more. And he's just, he's just on this cloud nine type aspect. He's just like, I'm just waiting for the right moment kind of thing. He's just kind of sort of like, going on his own path right now he's just sort of like uh i don't know how to explain it i will when i see more but from that little bit i can tell he doesn't need any more uh he doesn't need any more convincing to help nami he's like i'm good y'all do your thing i'm gonna take a walk <laughs> and uh you know i'm just waiting <laughs> he's just waiting for a bit and that's um i'm assuming he's waiting because you know the whole sleep thing is just like all right i'm gonna just stay here until y'all make up your mind until y'all come to your senses that's his thing so loving it <laughs> that was all to say that i'm loving it so far and um yeah i'm not gonna end off the episode just yet i'm gonna see if i can get into episode 35 so here we go all right here we go episode 35 to have something to report seeing a ship falling from the sky and turning out to be true <laughs> looks like some abnormal human has landed on this island yeah he's pretty abnormal i'll give you that uh exactly for what purpose Oh, oh, Luffy's walking by them. Luffy, can Luffy beat all three of them? I feel like, oh, uh, that's kind of iffy right there. That's a little iffy. <laughs> He's like, so oh, those are mermen. <laughs> He's not phased at all. He just said, oh, those are mermen. All right, cool. Nice to see that. Cool. God, this Botox fish, man. He's, he's, uh... he's trying to just walk past them like it's nothing. All right, so this man, Luffy, really just tried to walk past them nonchalantly. But I mean, Luffy's eyes, he doesn't really have a problem with them. Oh, he said, what's the matter to you? <laughs> He's like, you got a point there. All right, dude, let me chill. I'm Luffy. Okay, that's all they need to know. That's all you need to know about me. I'm Luffy. That's it. <laughs> I'm glad that Hachi actually kind of likes him. <laughs> he wasn't intimidated by us at all. Yeah, that's what's up. He don't care. They didn't sense any fear on this man's <laughs> on this man's face. There was nothing. Bellamere, did that woman raise you both? You mean, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bellamere raised them both. They're foster mama. Okay, so we're going to get a story, a look into Nami's past. Okay, <laughs> but not yet. We're going to get some more Nami here. Man, she bleeding through her bandage. She stabbed her hand through and through, man. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a toughie right there. Don't know if I can do that. <laughs> For the homie, though, just a bit more Bellamere. So what's the... Everyone's always got something. Luffy with his hat. Zoro with his sword. Sanji with food. Usopp with, I don't know, his nose. <laughs> lying. And, uh, yeah, I guess I guess Usopp's thing is lying. And then uh, Nami seem to be oranges. 
Oranges and Money, something like that. Okay, is that like her first map, Kokoyashi? She made that thing when she was 10? Didn't they just use that to take out the marine ship? <laughs> she made that when she was 10. What book is she trying to get? Is it, a, <laughs> is it a book of maps? Is it like a globe in a book? Oh, I thought she was gonna fall or something. What are you trying to steal, little girl? <laughs> Who are you fooling? Oh, she she thinks she's slick. Oh, I was about to say she was about to get away with it too. She like she like slipped it around her. <laughs> she said, "Nope." She said, "I ain't got nothing." Oh, that's the um. Oh God, what was the guy's name? They'll say it again. But uh, the village leader. This is before he had a whole bunch of stitches. <laughs> I'm not some cat. Bach, how many times do I have to tell you not to steal things? We're poor at my house. I can't help it. Okay. Well, I mean that that's a solid reason. Did he have stitches or not? Yeah, he doesn't have as many as he does now. <laughs> Your stray cat is done. Stop roasting her. Okay, let's see a bit of Bellamere. Let's see what Bellamere's all about. Aren't you the noisy one? Why is he just carrying her like that? How's it? <laughs> it looks like it hurts. Gen. Okay, that's his name. Gen son. Girl, what are why are you touching him like that? That is the village leader. Oh, she pulling one of the <laughs> now we see where Nami got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, he doesn't have any scars. Okay. Oh, okay, was she just messing with him? Okay, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, she said what are you laughing at oh she gave she gave her the <laughs> she gave her that immigrant parent real quick she gave her that immigrant parent me she said nah not today you ain't laughing today oh uh, okay so all the other orange farms are producing well okay oh man she's she's been money savvy since she was a kid girl that ain't something to brag about thank you <laughs> slap him up real quick <laughs> i could have stole it better just saying so nami's uh thieving skills haven't exactly uh been refined just yet but she she has some years to work on it nami's maps are really amazing okay so that's her thing she she just always been about the maps and navigation uh, okay yeah okay so that's the map of that island dang she traveled all around the island just to make that map studying navigate geez at such a young age that's something real specific to be studying like so nami she a smart cookie out here she ain't she ain't all uh she ain't all looks out here she got some brains up in there make a world map of all the places i've seen see that's what i was missing i was missing a goal i was missing some ab ambition i mean Ko saving kokiyashi village that was a goal okay but that's not like that's not a dream you know what i mean that's sort of just a like like i don't want to say a, something on a to-do list that's not a chore like that's that's honorable that's something honorable to do obviously but it's not like a dream because that's something you do and then what do you do after you know what i mean and that's what i was looking for that is her dream she wants to make a map of the that makes sense a map of the world okay so this first island will mark the first step to your dream okay now we're getting somewhere here now nami's moving up the list for me she's moving up in the world for me okay i'm sure that your dream will come true someday all right cool we got a dream see that's the thing that was sort of isolating nami for me from the rest of the crew everybody else had a dream but we didn't know what was going on with nami now we got it that's what was missing okay see the show knows what to get the show knows exactly what to give me exactly what to give me here i'm on a diet kids have to eat well damn straight you gotta grow up big and strong it's because we don't that's why oh oh she's trying to she's trying to pull a zeph right now <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to pull a zeph right now that's what she's trying to do jesus okay wait how culture is french for high fashion okay yeah <laughs> they're really throwing us uh, these french words right now throwing them at us man like with sanji too with his moves like what was it collier something like that collier shoot <laughs> like meat of the neck and then <laughs> kick him right up in there so she's trying to pull a zeph right now she's trying to make up some reason to not eat so that the kids can have all the food okay so they're that seems to be our running theme with the whole food idea or just with them two as <laughs> it's not really a theme i'm really trying to i'm, I'm reaching here oh she, the line was a sunflower you're two years oh, okay these are hand-me-downs oh, okay oh she's getting new clothes but she has to wear her old clothes okay yeah oh she pulled one of those she pulled one of those oh my god okay so that's what pisses bellamere off that 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 struck a nerve they always be drawing the eyes like that when they strike a nerve real quick when they get triggered <laughs> dang that was instinct too she didn't even mean to hit her that hard oh yeah that's your sister that doesn't matter family ain't all about blood okay family ain't all about blood bellamere isn't our real mother oh you <laughs> you pushing it now now you pushing it now then you could actually eat by all oh, okay nami you pulling at the hard strings right now she pulling at the okay it should have been by a rich family jesus christ this is fucking yo what is this backstory nami my 
god holy that you should like she doesn't we shouldn't be a family because we're too poor otherwise if we're a family then she wouldn't be able to eat so she should just give us up and give us to another family so she can actually eat and take care of herself and he's like i want to be with a rich family you ain't my mama you ain't my sister we ain't blood but bellamy all about that yeah you are a family you don't need to you need you don't need to have that blood to be a family that's for sure <laughs> you're the level-headed one out here yeah she seemed pretty mature so far i wait for you too while making some delicious food they're really hitting us with the family aspect of this whole relationship we already know that bellamere dies somehow at some point so they're really trying to strengthen this bond with them make us feel for bellamere and they're about to snatch her up real quick it's gonna be like Usopp's story with him and his mom but we didn't really know much about his mom but we know she dies now we know Nami's mom dies but we're actually gonna get connected to her don't do this to me <laughs> because of oh okay all right so she feels like it's because of her that the village is sort of isolating Bellamere because it seems like she does live a bit away from uh the village oh Bellamere wanted to join the marines okay yeah, she doesn't seem like your uh, typical chick out here. She seems like sort of, I don't know, like, I guess, uh, rugged or something, like independent, something like that. Okay, pi pirates who kill innocent people are unforgivable. Okay, is this a flashback within a flashback? <laughs> oh my god, she got messed up. She was on the verge of dying. So, okay, so she, she was a Marine. She didn't just want to be, she did become a Marine, okay. Because that's, that's what I was trying to get at. Like, she she seems more like, you know, stronger than your, the average chick that we've seen in One Piece so far. Oh, that's them when they're, that's not when she's a baby? And Nojiko too? Oh my god. They're war-torn infants here. Okay. Okay. This show needs to chill. <laughs> this show needs to chill with this. Are you serious right now? I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, this show's a. This show's a son of a bitch, man. This show, this show's a son of a bitch, man. They they really hitting us right now. They really about to hit us in this episode, bro. Don't do this to me. I have talked so much shit about Nami, bro. I have talked so much. Don't do it. Bro. She went through all that to save these kids right now. Okay. Oh, she's going to pull one of those. Oh, she pulled it. She pulled it. She did it. She pulled the all. She already injured out here. She said, no, save the kids. Forget about me. Okay. Well, you know what? You know what, Bellamere? What did you, you little thug? I'm gonna be a parent to these kids. A bad girl, like he, he said, she bad. That's what he. That's what he meant. He didn't just mean bad. He said bad. Okay, he, she doesn't want to give him up to the government. I've already been a marine, and I want to try to be a good, responsible person. Yeah, and she's still pretty young too. In order to survive in this era, I'm going to raise some fun people. Okay. Because before she said she's 30, and this is earlier, so she, she should be in like her mid-20s here. And she's really about to just adopt two kids? You guys have a stronger bond than a... Oof, that's... <laughs> that's for sure, man. That That's a... Uh... There are parents out there with children that are their blood, and they don't give a damn about them. So this is for sure a testament to... This is for sure a testament to how... Family don't work just through blood. Family can be family. Could be on the other side of the world. It don't matter who it is. Family can be family. And uh, how those little ones who struggle to survive a grown. So how old did Nojiko said that she's two years older than Nami. So when she found them, Nami is an infant. She should she should be like around two years old, right? Those three weren't happy. We couldn't forgive ourselves. Would oh okay. So they so they do care about them. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. This is what they're. This is where they're gonna hit us with the Bellamere death, bro. I can already. This is where they're gonna hit us with it. It sucks. Even like you would think it's bad that you already know she's gonna die. Like it feels like a spoiler, but now that they've set her up so much as a dope person, I feel like knowing that she's gonna die, like it's inevitable, just sucks that much more. 
I had Merman from the Grand Line come all the way here. So that is true. Why would they come there? Like, that's such a... Seems to be like an off, sort of, out of the way island here. Going out in the forest behind the village. And they're from the Grand Line. I feel like they'd have, I don't know, like, not to throw shade at the island, but I feel like they'd have something more important to do, these Merman, if they come from the Grand Line. If the Grand Line is all that in a bag of chips, like people have been saying. Greetings and salutations, my little inferior humans. From this moment on, this village, now this whole island, be a part of my domain. You know, I'm going to write this down real quick in my analysis page of my uh, notepad here. You have to purchase your lives from me. Okay, so this is when it all starts. Each adult for 100 billion, or I said billion, my God, I can't read. 100,000, 50,000 for each kid, 100,000 for each adult. Everyone else will be killed. Okay, so we can't pay that much money. Oh, yeah, because Bellamy is pretty, really poor. Oh, they're, they can't even pay in money. They have to pay in food. Oh, no, they can't pay in money. Okay. About 25 million? Wait, I have to write this down real quick. I'm just right just to talk after, but I'm just writing in like a little tidbit so that I can remember after the episode. We can't afford to survive. You gotta pay for your souls, dude. That's that's deep. Yeah, that's what lives matter. Make sure everyone is safe before you try to figure out a way out of this. I hope they leave as they are without notice. Oh yeah, because Bellmere can't. Yeah, Bellmere can't pay for that. Include 200k just for her. Okay, so they're probably going to figure out about Bellamy. I don't think they're just going to leave. Oh, no. Bellamy, you choose now to cook? <laughs> you Oh, yeah, but yeah, she was saying that she was cooking something special for Nami. Oh. God damn it, Bellamy. Why, why do you have to be? Why do you have to be a good person now, huh? Why do you have to be a good person now? Why you got to... I lost my pencil, but why you gotta be a good person now? Oh, just forget about the food, dog. I want her to survive, but I know she has to die. Dude. I hope her badass military expertise is gonna save her here or something. All right, I found it. I found it. This is going to hit the budget pretty hard. Don't worry. There's something else that's going to hit the budget even harder. This dude Arlong out here. Oh, my God. Okay. <sighs> the waterworks are about to be real. The waterworks are about to be real. I can already feel it. I felt I felt it welling up a little bit. I could feel it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. But it, did, it didn't roll down just yet. Them tears are staying in there. I feel like one more episode of this and I... I don't think I can. I don't think I can keep it up. It's only wrote. I can barely pay pay attention to my notes. I only wrote one thing here. I was, I was so focused in this, so I only wrote one thing here. Arlong Petty, and um, this is more or less not an analysis of the episode, but more so speculation. So I'm gonna look back here and just make sure everything. I have everything right. So episode thirty mentioned. The or sort of explain the Shichi, uh, Shichi Bukai and um, aka the warlords, and they mentioned that Mihawk was a warlord, and alongside that, they mentioned another warlord, a fishman warlord named Jinbei, who apparently runs the fishman pirates. So, of those pirates, Arlong did work for Jinbei, he was a part of that group. In the Grand Line, wherever Fishman Island is, I believe it was. So, Arlong was a part of that crew. And they mentioned that they were confused as to why Arlong would go out of his way to come to this small village and want to rule it since they were in the Grand Line. I mentioned, you know, Grand Line, they've been saying it's a, it was all that in a bag of chips. They've been saying Grand Line is the destination to become the greatest and be the greatest. It's the craziest place. It is also the most prosperous place, it seems. It seems to be the place where pirates want to go, which Arlong is. He's a pirate. So why would he come all the way out here into the East Blue, which Mihawk mentioned is the weakest AMC? Why would he go all the way out here just to control this poor village? And here's my... Sp Speculation. I wrote Arlong Petty just to sum it up, but <laughs> that's kind of Arlong Petty, basically it. I think 
During the time Arlong was with Jinbei and the other Fishman pirates, I do think... Is it Merman or Fish? I'm assuming Fishman pirates. I'm thinking Jinbei was the big dog. He, was, he should have been the captain. If he was the warlord, I'm assuming he was the captain. He must have been a big dog. He must have been all about that control and power he was he's a warlord for pete's sake and seeing um mihawk's uh hawkeye mihawk's uh power if jinbei is anywhere around that to be considered a warlord then he should have been insanely powerful it seems so if arlong was serving under him did he have some type of inferiority complex like some sort of he just felt lesser than this guy um jinbei and maybe this is all now this is all speculation maybe Jinbei like had control of an insane amount of islands in the grand line Arlong felt like he was petty Arlong felt like you know he he wasn't like the fish man he's supposed to be because it's obvious here that Ar Arlong is like he's really pushing up these fish men right he's like saying like fishermen are greatest or better than humans y'all are despicable but maybe before all that he had those same ideas but he wasn't living up to the stuff that he was saying about Fishman. He's saying, we're great, but why am I serving under this dude Jinbei? So maybe he goes out on his own with a select amount of Fishmen from the crew or maybe gathered up whatever. And he's going out on his own. He's saying like, yo, I can become as good as you. Let me do what you're doing, Jinbei. And let me be as strong as you here and find an island to take control of. Maybe he tried taking control of other islands in the Grand Line and he failed because he got his ass whooped. He wasn't like Jinbei. He wasn't a badass. He wasn't a warlord. So he comes all the way out here at the East Blue because we they the weakest. And he's like, let me take care of these. Let me let me try and control these small fry real quick. Because there's always those dudes, those dictators or whatever, that always try to go off after the weakest because they want to feel strong. Even doesn't have to go up to dictators. Just like, you know, bully at school. He feels inferior at home. A.K.A. Arlong at home with Jinbei. So he goes to school. Arlong coming to this village to pick on people that are weaker. You know, the bully picking on students at school that are weaker because he feels weak at home. Is, you know, a metaphor towards Arlong feeling weak around Jinbei. So he goes to this East Blue to pick on weaker people. So that's what I think is going on here. That's why Arlong came out here and he's about to... God, he's about to kill... Bellamere, isn't he? God, I want to watch the next episode, man. I just, I just want the good memories of Bellamere to stay. Here we go. Episode 36 notes. God, don't do this. And the whole town is about to go at her and protect her. Yo, Bellamere has to have some moves, though, if she was with the Marines. Even though Orange Sauce original. The duck in the oven... Needs another 10 minutes. Got to add the vegetables. Girl, can you... Oh, she doesn't know, though, so I can't be mad at her. She was with the Marines, so she has to have some moves, right? But, you know, the Marines are kind of whack in this show. Real Marines are badasses, but in this show, they make them seem like... They make them seem so whack. I'm not going to read the title. But, like... I feel like she's got to have some moves. She has to have some type of fighting capability. So maybe she can hold out till the town comes through. But I don't you know. They're, they're going to kill him anyway. Oh, that's scary. Imagine looking out your window and seeing those shadows out there. That is frightening. Oh, she knows. Oh, Bellamere is, oh, Bellamere is savage. Oh, I thought all the lights were off. Okay, yeah, but she hid herself though. She said, come on in. She got the strap ready, doesn't she? She got this, not even a strap. She said, take my sandal. <laughs> she said, take my, she said, take my sandal to the face. Look how big Arlong is. Oh, so Bellamere's a savage. Oh my God. I don't know why her being a savage just made me even more sad. That makes me love her more. Oh God. That's such a waste. She would have been such a badass. But she has to die still. She's asking the same thing with our pirates from the Grand Lion here. He ate her gun! This man, Arlong, is not playing. He ate her gun like a Jolly Rancher. He said, I skipped breakfast and my tummy is rumbling. Let me get a taste of that gun barrel. Oh, is that the doctor guy? He's stopping him? How'd you get there before them? You old as hell. <laughs> I'm forced to tell you something that may sound a little cruel. Did y'all hear that squish? Oh my god! 
like, no, stop it. Oh my God, I can't do it with the sound effects. No, I'm sorry, I can't do it with the sound, no. Oh my God, that was brutal. They're torturing her. Her arm is gone. Oh my, that sound got me squeamish, I'm sorry. Oh, she only has a little over 100K. No! Oh, Hachi, I hate you now. I'm moving your name off the list. You're, you're, you're on the hate list now, <laughs> Hachi. You're done for now, man. Oh, come on. You know that's not going to work, dude. I swear, if Nami and Nojiko just pop up right now. Okay, good. So she, since she, okay, good. All right. She's never had any kids. Yeah, she's always been single. Oh, okay. So it's not in the records that she adopted them. She just, she just did it out of, as a spur of the moment kind of thing. She just adopted them because she really cared about them. So they never made a note of it. Oh, he's telling them to leave. Yeah, she's too young to understand that type of stuff, right? It's because we're poor that we can't be balanced. She keeps running back right to that money thing. That's what sucks too. That's just the way the world. Money talks. Jeez, look at her arm. My God, that sound was disgusting. Oh no. Oh, I feel like Nami's gonna pull something and get her killed. Oh God, that's what's gonna. That's what's gonna scar her. She's gonna pull something and get her killed. Son, when did this show? When did this anime get so deep? Oh, God, I can't. I can't run with this show no more, dude. That. <laughs> Yo. She said that, who said the 100K is for me? That's for my daughters. Okay, dude. Fuck <laughs> me. Don't move your broken arm. Stop it. I really want to buy you more stuff. Stop it, Nami. Stop it. Oh, my. Yo. Oh, my God. The whole village is about to get. Oh my, I don't even know what to say. You'll die for your pathetic love. I don't know what to say. Son, the way, okay. Bellamy is a savage. She She's an A1. Fucking hell. Alright. Okay. This show just... This anime... I didn't write a goddamn thing about this episode. I am so done. Bro, my, my hand is shaking. <laughs> my hand is shaking from this shit. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, my. I don't know what to say. No, that's her map. Okay, and this is why they want to kidnap her, because she made that map. Luffy has to whoop Arlong into another dimension, not even into the stratosphere. He needs to send him... Oh my god, he needs to send his consciousness to hell. And that's how he got all those stitches. I am so sorry I called him a pushpin doll. I didn't know this was the backstory. Your kid, that was half the episode. That was half the episode. That felt like a movie. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. That was only half. I thought we were done. I thought we were done. I can't take any more of this. <laughs> Nami's backstory. Oh my god, I talked so much mess. I talked so much smack about her affinity for money. About her being a gold digger. Those videos are going to look so bad now. Oh, now I know what y'all are talking about. Oh my, I am such a hypocrite. I am such a hypocrite. Remember what I told Nami episodes ago. I said, don't judge the virtuous like you know them. 
I said, don't judge the virtuous like you know them. And I was judging the virtuous like I knew her. What, when, how, where, and why did this anime decide to go? That was such a quick turn of events. Just one backstory and this thing got me all twisted. God, she just made every single marine, every single marine that we've seen so far, she has made them look like a bitch. Bellamir, the best marine we have seen so far. Hands down, the greatest. And all that mess I said about Arlong possibly, possibly being in, in any sense of the word, having any morals or dignity or any type of honor, I take all that back. Arlong is, oh my god, the farthest thing from all of that. <sighs> Island will be taken over. Marines won't bother. Her experience as a Marine, she knew instinctively what they would do. Jesus Christ. They witnessed the murder of their own mother. She gone, man. She went out like a soldier for sure. And we know which one they chose. Wait for the day the government saves them. The only ones that can stand up to them are those people from Marine Headquarters. But the headquarters have their hands full. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Coming out here to... S oh, okay. So that's that's actually a tiny bit of world building. Very slight, but actually a tiny bit. I'm going to write it down because I don't want to mess with the episode's flow. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to write it down. Yeah, the village is a family here. They all the fam out here. They don't, yeah, let Bellamere's sacrifice motivate y'all. Let them know. Yeah, I can't look away from this for too long and write. So. Oh, okay, yeah, so they took Nami. Okay, so they... Don't tell me they did that to her. Dude, did they beat her? This show's got that running theme of child abuse for sure. Where did she get those bruises from? Did she have them? Oh, no. Oh, they did it. Oh, they did it. Oh, they did it. Oh, they did it. I was afraid they were going to do this, but they did it. Not the fact that she joined. I'll, I'll let y'all know. She had that when she was a kid. When she was a kid. Nami was a savage since age 10. Nami was a real one since age 10. What is this show? If you live properly and die like Bellamere did, then that ain't the way she wants to live. Don't you, don't you get it, bro? Don't you get what she's been trying to do? I got it the moment she had that fake smile going on. That, oh my god, this is sickening. <laughs> Dude, this is insanity. This is some straight trauma to any child. Why had I never noticed that tattoo before? Maybe it was just there and I just disregarded it. Because she's had it since she's she was 10, obviously. Holy butter on a biscuit. This show is getting you. Oh my god, this show is stabbing me right in the feels. And that's where she made the goal. Eight years in the making. Eight years in the making. Trying to buy the village. To be with the person who killed Bellamere. I'll just smile whenever I see his face. Oh my god. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got chills. <laughs> I don't know how you would have noticed that, but I'm letting you know. Oh, yeah, they're shook. They are shook. Oh, Zoro, come on. <laughs> Ten-year-old girl to decide to fight alone and struggle to survive. Do you understand how hard it must have been? God. Why does your nose make that noise, Usopp? That's... Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at Usopp. He's sweating. He's like, damn, she ain't playing. The pirates are going to doubt her loyalty and all her, all her hard work these eight years will be for naught. Okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. She wants to do this on her own. She She's fighting for this village. It's been for eight years. Knowing there are people who call her... For, oh, okay. <laughs> these dudes. They, that's how I feel right now, bro. I thought I judged her like... <laughs> just like Johnny. I judged her. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, uh, okay. So she's just been growing up, stealing from pot, getting this messed up to get money from them. God. Eight years. Just like Bellamere said, ignore my cuts. I gotta save these people. Just like Bellamere said. She came in with her babies and she said, ignore my cuts and bruises, save them. Nami said, Ignore my cuts and bruises. I gotta save them. Oh god, this show, this anime, whatever it is, it's gonna kill me. 
800 episodes of this? Are you 800 episodes of this, man? Oh, he's here. Why is Luffy sweating? Wait, does Luffy know him? Luffy's not afraid of the Marines. He knows he can whoop their booties. Why does he have a pi <laughs> Why did that shock him so much? He started sweating. He said that pinwheel is so cool. <laughs> Wait, what, what do they want with her, though? What does she do? Is it because she's be, she been running with like 20 different pirate crews at the same time? Female thief Nami. According to our investigations, you seem to have stashed. They're gonna steal her. No, no, no. Oh, he's scum. Oh, he's trash. Oh, he's trash. I, you know what? I can't. Ugh! Sorry, uh, sorry about that. I just. I just had to let some, uh, let some wiggles out there, but uh, that's uh, got me shook, so. Yep, okay. The show really went there, you know. The... Compensate all her money. Eight years worth almost a hundred. Was that even almost? She said seven mil? She had seven mil on her. <sighs> Eight years, seven mil. No. That's great. <laughs> you gotta love your government, right? <laughs> All right. One question. Someone, well, not really a question, but someone had to have tipped him off, right? Someone, I uh, gotta scoot up a little bit. Someone had to have tipped him off about the money. Maybe it was Arlong. I, I think it was Arlong. I feel like he knew. I feel like he, he knows, right? Oh, wait. He does know. He does. Yeah, he does know. Oh, man, he tipped. That's why. That's why. I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling. This dude looked shady from the beginning about this whole trust thing, and I fell for it. I thought he was at the least bit honorable about the tr about the deal they had. But he was only confident about it because he could get the Marine captain, the mar this Marine rat captain dude, to get it to take it from her he knew he could do that because they've been working together and he knew for a fact if he told this man that there was money that he could get from nami then he would do it in a legal way if the government is confiscating the money because a thief is a thief Oh my god, this man Arlong really went there. Alright, so, um, <clears throat> what I want to talk about here, I wrote down two things I want to mention. Um, Marines with the Grand Line. So, they mentioned that the Marines wouldn't have enough time to actually come to their island there and help them out because they have their hands full with the Grand Line. Seems like East Blue is sort of like, um, East Blue is like sort of in the back of their minds or it's not even on their laundry list at all. So if, if that's the case, maybe, just maybe, they are sending out, you know, sort of like the cleanup crew or the janitors of the Marines to sort of handle whatever is going on in the East Blue because they really probably don't care. And, I don't know, maybe the elites are handling what's going on in the Grand Line, so they're saving all the big baddies for them. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but if they, ha if they are right about that and they have their hands tied with, with what's going on in the grand line then that would make more sense for arlong to want to come out here the east blue he probably knows um no crazy marines are really gonna come bouncing over here into the east blue and <laughs> on this village nobody knows about to really mess with my reign so i'm assuming he's not expecting anyone tough to really come at him and the one marine that does he's paying him off so arlong basically has it good and another thing that almost kind of made me tear up a little bit i'm not gonna lie with the whole nami faking thing now i know she was faking or she is faking um now but i did not know when it started i didn't realize it was so early on like just the thought of having a child force themselves into undergoing what is basically slavery to a certain extent just keeping her there like they that's basically what slavery is taking somebody from their home and forcing them to do labor or work that they don't want to do for no pay i'm assuming she's not getting paid i mean she's going out and stealing all this stuff for them so she's paying them to live basically and 
like i mean yeah she does love map na uh, map making but i mean for her own enjoyment not to do for somebody else like she is now and she's allowing herself to go through all this and she's saying the craziest stuff you know you heard what um what they said about her when she basically said that she doesn't want to be like Bellamere if like living on the good side or you know living as a straight edge or living you know um what's the word that she used um let me check she said she she, she said uh she said it was somewhere here not here before that or a little bit after Wait, here we go. Uh, properly. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. She said, um, if you live properly and die like Bellamere did, then I don't want to live like Bellamere at all, is basically what she said. And, you know, the village people took that to heart. They thought that she was, re that's what she really meant. That's what they thought. But she did. She literally just said that to get them off of her back. And it's crazy that even at 10, she was able to sort of, you know, bottle up all these feelings, like eight years, you know, she's been bottling all this stuff up, letting them out in short bursts, but she's never really let it out like she's wanted to. She also mentioned she never wants to cry again, so I'm assuming she's never really let out her tears, let out her emotions on what she feels about the current situation. She's just been stuck in the mindset. She's been on that grind to save the village. And I talk so much mess about, oh my god, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh god, the homies on the Discord are having a field day with this, man. I We had the we had this whole bet that I wouldn't feel anything for Nami. And, you know, I, I was kind of contradicting myself because I, I thought that all the anime would really do was make me understand where Nami was coming from. I didn't actually think I'd tear up a little bit for what she's been through. I underestimated this man, Oda, and <laughs> the way he's able to turn these characters around. Because he kind of did the same thing with Usopp at a much lesser scale. He made him look like an asshole liar. And he sort of turned him around. I, is that like some type of... Um, was he like a sort of was his story like a predecessor to Nami's or something like getting you ready for what's about to happen and you don't even know because he had been setting Usopp up for a few episodes and then um you know made him dope in a few episodes but he'd been setting Nami up as a horrible character since like day one and he just now like 30 something episodes later just made her as honorable as she is oh my god yeah Nami's honorable she her name's moving Where's the list? <laughs> Where's the list, bro? Oh, Nami, you're getting two hearts. I'm sorry. Everyone else has one heart. Nami, you're getting two. I'm sorry. So, um, ended off with this rat marine. I'm not even going to name him by his name. This rat marine trying to confiscate all of Nami's hard work. Nami, you, you beautiful, tortured soul. <laughs> now I'm falling for Nami, <laughs> like Sanji out here. I'm falling for Nami. Oh my god, don't do this. What's wrong? Shut up, Arlong. Just die. Bruh, I just want Luffy to deck you so hard in your schnoz. I just want him to bend that nose backwards. How about we make a deal? Is this where he makes the deal with her 100 mil for the town? Uh, I'll set you and your village free. If there is money involved, I would rather die. No, you won't. Bro, he's such a backward scumbag. He can't even come up to Nami and say to her face. I'm assuming that he wants to steal all the money that she made. And he got the Marine Captain to find her uh, gold. And he doesn't even have... He doesn't even have the guts to do it to her face. I mean, at least go 100% asshole and take it from her by force. Don't get somebody else to do your dirty work. Or maybe he's just having fun with it like some psychomaniac. Oh my god. This dude, he really taking this rat persona to heart. He got <laughs> ears on his hat here, his little hoodie. Or I feel like they should have gave, given him a more fitting voice, like, you know, like a weasel type of voice kind of thing. His voice is too deep. Like, he should sound more like, you know, nasally, like, high-pitched. Like, that. That's what, that's what a rat like him should sound like. What's the matter? Didn't you hear me? Something like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, is she about to fight back? How diligent you guys are in your duties. Mm, oh, she summed it up. She said, you guys don't have the guts to stand up to pirates, so you got to pick up on the small fry right here. I'm one of Arlong's crew. Touch me and Ar- Oh, no, they're about to come right back at her and say that Arlong sent us. 
Oh, he's about to pull one of those on her. Oh, she pulling out the staff. Ooh, Nami fighting back. Okay, she got a bit of that Bellamere in her for sure. Arlong Zing is killing and destroying villages. Killing people, destroying villages. Even now, they're taking over this island and wrecking lives. See, he's laughing like that because Arlong sent him. I know he did. I know Arlong sent him for sure. People on this island have been waiting for the Marines help for so long. I can pass them by and come straight. To yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious now. Jesus. Dang. Nami is going off. She's got moves out here. She's taking these dudes out. The girl's money is going to save Kokoyashi Village. Does that make you? Oh, okay. Oh, she's been trying to keep it a secret. Oh, okay. So he, she didn't want them to know. So she wanted them to hate her until she could save them because she didn't want anybody to worry about her. I just couldn't believe what you'd done. So I questioned Nojiko from then on every, oh, everyone in the village knows. Save this village, you okay? God, he pretended not to know. So if you ever want to run away from Arlong, our hopes wouldn't pull you back. Oh my God, this is, ah, oh, stop it. Stop it with this show. What are you? Did he just say the whole village is in on this theft? Dude, force this man to chew on glass and stare at the sun. Screw this rat marine. You'll be Arlong. Dude, yeah, he's not scared because he's been sent by Arlong. Yeah, see, there you go. How do you know the amount? <laughs> oh, man. Dude, he thinks he's slick. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, I think I think Nami knows now. How does he know the amount? Who's the who's the only one that knows the amount? Well, other than the rest of the village, but who who kind of hates you and knows the amount out here? We're just doing what's necessary to persecute the thieves. God, this show is really I keep calling it a show, I'm sorry. This anime is really going there. Government stooping so low as to support the criminals. That is literally literally the blood sweat and tears of nami all that she's put into it oh god don't nami can you dodge bullets can you dodge bullets out here can you bounce off bullets like uh, you know they're they're t <laughs> i panicked and i hit the pause button i panicked and i hit the pause button <laughs> There's some times, and whether it's a TV show or an anime, where, where they go through too far when they want to kill characters, man. You know, <laughs> it's Game of Thrones. They like killing off characters while willy-nilly. Like, <laughs> oh my. Where is Luffy during all of this? Luffy, please. Take your fist and use it. <laughs> Wait, what do you say? I just thought of a good move. Gum gum pinwheel? Oh my god. Did she get shot in a vital area? Please tell me it's in the arm. Please tell me it's in the arm. Nami, he can help you. Please stop trying to do this on your own. I understand why, but please <laughs> ask for help. Jesus, that's all Luffy needs. Stop trying to do it by yourself. God, Nami, I, I love you and all. You're honorable. You're virtuous. You got everything that is required for me to love a character. But you got to stop being so damn stubborn, please. Please help me understand Arlong's thinking. Or is there no understanding a psychopath's thought process? Oh, what is she going to do? Oh, Nami's pissed. Oh, no. Don't touch him like that. When did I break our promise? He grabbed her whole ass mouth. God. Nami, you can't do anything. You, oh God, Nami, you can't do anything. Oh, this is out of your control, Nami. God, you're a great character, but you're in over your head. Dang. Eight years. Just imagine that eight years down the toilet. Yeah, just another eight years. You know, when you're 26, I'll come by and steal it all again when you're almost there. God, Arlong is such garbage. How does this anime know how to make such hateable characters? 
it's this anime is so good at making hateable characters like i just want to oh i just want to reach into the screen <laughs> every enemy that comes in she can't forfeit the lives of the villagers every enemy that comes in man one just scummier than the last i'm not a demon when she draws up maps of the whole world then i'll set her free <laughs> you say your motives are obvious love cook i can't argue with that fight for someone beautiful Nami is truly beautiful, you know? And it's not, for me, it's not only surface level like Sanji over here. Well, I mean, Sanji understands the backstory too, so I'm assuming her uh, her tenacity and determination really helps Sanji solidify that thirst. Now he's like all up on her. <laughs> okay, there it is. Done waiting for Marines. Marines are against you. Arlong is against you. Y'all gotta fight. But please don't fight. <laughs> U Usopp, Zoro, Sanji, and Luffy can handle it for sure. I, I feel like they can. Never to throw our lives away. I mean, we haven't we haven't seen Arlong really fight just yet, so we don't know how strong he's going to be compared to Luffy. Then again, Luffy has kind of come on top every time, so it's it's kind of obvious he's going to win. But I'd love to see how. Would not forgive them for preying on Nami's kindness. Jesus. No matter what it is to raise a child or to protect a child, man, it takes a village. It takes a village. Oh no, Nami. Oh, as soon as I saw the smile, she's gonna do it again. She's gonna she's gonna do it. Fuck. Nami. <laughs> oh, you're hurting me. Nami, why? Why are you <laughs> why are you so stubborn? <laughs> why do you want to do it by yourself? Nami, just ask for help. Swallow your pride or your stubbornness or whatever it is. Damn, they really telling her to bounce. God, Nami. I don't even know what else to say. She's just... Oh, you know they serious when they grab it by the blade. Grabbing it by the blade with no hesitation. Again. You really out here. Jesus. They done. They grabbing their pitchfork shovels, <laughs> frying pans, whatever they got. They about to try to take. Yeah, and let me guess. Who do you need now? You need to get yourself a Luffy. You need to get yourself a Luffy. Where's she looking at? Oh, the tattoo. Yeah, fuck that tattoo, man. That's, oh my God. That's insane to me how, oh my gosh. She's going to scratch her skin off. It's crazy to me that she's, oh, <laughs> No! Stop! Nami! Oh my god! The sound! It's always the sound! What did they stab a meat packet? Did they stab a bag of meat for that sound? That was disgusting! Oh my god, that's a long knife, dude! That thing went through her arm! I'm just clutching my arm! Oh my god! God, jeez, she really, she really can't help it. The life she's had to lead. I mean, just, please, just say it. Please, just, thank you. Oh my, that's all he needed to hear. Thank you. Oh, he gave her, her hat, his hat. Yes, Luffy, let's go. Oh, and they really going back to that. Yes, that is his treasure and he let you wear it. And they're waiting. Let's. Oh, that's so dope. Yo. Let's go. Oh, my God. They were they were ready. They were ready for the captain's order. Oh, that felt so good. That felt so good. There you go. Okay. Yo, Saku and Johnny climb up, <laughs> climbing up on the list. Those guys. Yep. Those guys. Shot I wanted to see. Give me a yes. Oh my god, they are all so ready. Yo, Usopp, you might actually be a monster right now. I'm classifying him as a monster right now. Dude, remember the faces. God, remember their names. Remember the faces. They're going to change the future. Why, did, why does Sanji's cigarette kind of look like Usopp knows? Like, <laughs> all long out there. Oh, yeah, and they're, us, and they're underestimating them too. Oh, this is going to feel so good. This is going to feel so... Let's go bust down Arlong's gate. Luffy is out here. He's getting ready to show him up. <laughs> yes, Luffy ended off with that. <laughs> he said, which one's Arlong? <laughs> Let me deck you in the face. Oh my 
God. Oh, that episode got my blood pumping. I didn't write a damn thing. <laughs> There's nothing on this notepad. I didn't write anything. Oh my God. Nami finally says it. She asks for help. That is all Luffy was waiting for. That's all he wanted to hear. He didn't want a backstory. He didn't want a sob story. If that isn't a testament to the honest, humble, caring nature of Luffy, then I don't know what is. Because he doesn't need the whole... You know, oh, this happened to me in my past. This is why you should feel sorry for me. He doesn't need all that. He just needs to know your personality. He just needs you to be his friend. And when you ask for help, he's got you. Man, man we all need a Luffy in our lives. That's for sure. We all need a Luffy. Bro, we all need a Luffy that will always have our back. We all need a Zoro, a friend of loyalty. This show is making me feel some type of way. I keep calling it a show. This anime is making me feel some type of way and i hope it's making you guys i mean you guys have already seen it years ago for sure so um but i do surely hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and i i do hope you guys enjoy what is to come in the future near future i should say thank you so much for watching peace out <laughs>